Peter, you know what we were talking about? What's that, love? Oh, starting a family. Well, we've got plenty of time for that, love. I mean, we've only just got married. Yeah, but time's getting on, isn't it? I mean, both of us are not in our early 20s anymore. True, but, you know, even so... Yeah, and I you just... never know. I mean, we might not be able to have kids. It can take years to find that out. Yeah, there'll be no problem there. <laughs> How do you know? We've not even tried. True, no, you've got a point. That's true. You do still want kids, don't you? Of course I do. I want... I want loads of kids. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, you're even backing out now, are you? No, no. You see, that's what you do. You get me going, you get me all revved up. Oh, don't be daft. Why, how many kids are you talking about, anyway? Oh, well, four or five, at least. <laughs> Better get started, then, haven't we? <laughs> what about you? How many? Well, two would be nice. Yeah? OK, well, what about if I meet you halfway? How about three? Why don't we take one at a time? And why don't we stop talking about it? And why don't we start doing it, eh? Soon. I think that's a very good idea, Joe. Mm. Why don't we do that? Yeah. So who is he? His name's Dan. I met him last uh, autumn out of her flat one night. I mean, like a boyfriend. Nah, no, it's boyfriend, you know. He said they were just friends, that kind of thing. And did you believe her? Well, I think I'd have known if she'd have lied. But, you know, that didn't stop her winding me up, saying, well, you know, you've got two women, kind of thing. What if they're just friends? What's the problem? Yeah, I know. They were friends then, but they looked a lot cosier than that. Well, what were they doing? Were they kissing? No. Nah. Touching each other? Just... Look, Are you sure know. you're not just imagining this? But I'll tell you what really got to me was seeing him holding my son, and she's let me down a lot lately. But single mothers have busy lives. Well, surely that's all the more reason for her to let me help her. Well, look, what if she is seeing him? There's nothing you can do about it, is there? No. Come on, you get access to Simon, right? What she does with the rest of her life is her own affair. No, but if they are an item, it means he's going to be stepping into my shoes, isn't he? Is he? Of course he is. Look, if they start living together, he's going to be the father figure in that house, isn't he? How can he not be? Well, you know what I think? Well, I think you should get your facts straight before you do anything else. You could be torturing yourself for nothing. Peter, what do you want? I've come to see Simon. It's not today. Oh, so you can cancel when you feel like it, but I can't even bend the rules, is that it? It's just, well, um, I'm busy right now. You seem to be busy quite a lot lately. Five minutes is not going to kill you, is it? OK, come in. You've uh, <clears throat> met before, I think. Peter, Dan. Hi. Hi. Well, this looks very friendly. Can someone tell me what's going on? I'll leave you to it, shall I? Yeah, I think that's no, a good no idea. No, there's no need for you to go, Dan. No, uh, I think it's best. Yeah, I'll take my son, should I, Dan? If that's all right with you. I'll see you later. See you. How dare you talk to him like that? So, you're an item. And what the hell is that to you? Everything if it affects me and Simon. Why don't you tell me? Oh, because apart from the fact it is none of your business, there's nothing to tell. It's all quite recent. No, but he's the reason you've been cancelling me, isn't he? Hey? You should have told me. Well, I'm telling you now. Too late. Well, compared to you, it's breaking news as it happens. Listen, Lucy, please believe me. I mean, I don't care what you do with your personal life. Yeah, right. It doesn't sound like it. I just want to know what's happening. It's time for a sleep. I want an answer. And I'm not going to leave till I've got one. Well, come on, then. Is it serious? I mean, he's sleeping with him or what? That is certainly none of your business. Lucy, all I want is assurance that your private life is not going to get in the way of me seeing my son. And you have that assurance. Yeah, but you can't promise you're not going to cancel again. Oh, Peter, there are bound to be times when one or other of us can't make it for whatever reason. Yeah, fine, once or twice. But you're more or less rewriting the agreement here. I get to see him twice a week when it suits you. That is not what I'm saying. Well, OK, fine. You know, two people can play at that game. You don't want me to see so much of him, well, I'm sorry, but I'm saying I want to see more of him.
You're pushing your luck here, Peter. Look, Lucy, it's not that I'm trying to be difficult. It's just that when I see you out together, you know, and Dan's holding him, it just gets to me. Yeah, but no one is saying you can't see him. Well, then promise me that you'll stop messing me about, Lucy. He needs to see his real dad. I'll tell you what he doesn't need. He doesn't need you storming around here with ultimatums every time you get upset, wanting a showdown every time I go out with someone else. Can you promise me or not? I said what I'm prepared to do. OK, well, then I want to see more of him, then. You go on like this and you won't see him at all. You wouldn't dare. Oh, wouldn't I? No, you don't even have the power for a start. I think you'll find I have. These decisions are based on Simon's best interest. And I'm not going to give up on this, either. If I were you, Peter, you know what? I'd go away, I'd calm down, and I'd think really hard about what you want, or you could end up with nothing. Well, we've christened the corner shop. Where are you next? Is that what turns you on? Having fun in strange places. It turns you on, if I remember rightly. But we could always get out to the cellar. Nobody'd find us down there. And we could have a barrel of fun, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I still don't know what you're seeing in. It makes me laugh. I've never had that in a man before. Mm. Yeah. Hi, love. Well, if he's gambling all his money away instead of saving to get married, then you'll need a good sense of humour, won't you? You look like you need that. Yeah. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? Kieran, I've got to make a stand, because if I can't be a proper father to him, then, you know, what's the point? But you're not a proper father, are you? How can you be? Well, I don't see why not. Come on, a man in your position. What's going to happen now when he gets a few years older and he wants to know where you live and he wants to come and see you? Kieran, that is a long time away. Lucy's a good-looking woman. She's going to end up with somebody, if not this guy. Look, I don't care who Lucy ends up with. That's not the all, point. All I'm trying to say is sooner or later, it's all going to fall apart. And if you keep going over there and making a nuisance of yourself, it's going to be sooner rather than later. Look, man, all I want to do, right, is get this straightened out so we both know where we stand. That's all I want to do. And how far are you going to go to do that? Oh, well, as far as I have to. So you'll go to court? Yeah. And you let the whole world find out, including Shelley. You're playing with fire, Peter. Why can't you just settle for what you have? If you don't, the whole lot's going to go up in smoke. So that's a risk I'm going to have to take, then, isn't it? But I'll tell you what, nobody's going to stop me seeing my son. I mean that. Nobody. 